Here are the OpenStack Network plugin development team consisting of myself, Tom, Sean, Jay, and Siggy. Let's get into this. Why is our project important? Well, certain Cisco clients have large networks with large amounts of information being sent across the world. And these companies have an instinctual need to better monitor the flow data and look further into optimizing the bottlenecks that exist within our networks. This is where we come in. These companies are using an ASR1K with OpenStack for better performance. The ASR1K has many networking protocols that are not supported by OpenStack. What is NetFlow? NetFlow is a network protocol developed by Cisco for collecting IP traffic information and monitoring network traffic. By analyzing flow data, a picture of network traffic flow and volume can be built. Big clients of Cisco have specifically asked for the implementation of specific out-of-band configs for the ASR1K, such as NetFlow. One might ask, what is OpenStack? OpenStack is a community-driven open source software platform used for cloud computing. It has various divisions, including managing VMs, storage, security, computation, whatnot. However, our project aims to focus on the networking division, formerly known as Neutron. OpenStack has different roles in this Neutron environment. First being the OpenStack admin user, which is responsible for installing and configuring OpenStack services, Nova, Neutron, and Keystone. Users who know details in which Neutron plugins and hardware the OpenStack cloud is implemented on. This user sets up tenant user roles and shared resources. This user is also the one who knows about and also sets up the initial ASR1K config. Then there's also the OpenStack tenant user. This user makes use of OpenStack interfaces, APIs, Horizon, OpenStack client tools to use the OpenStack cloud provided by the OpenStack admins. We've been talking a lot about this ASR1K. What is the ASR1K? The ASR1K is a router provided by Cisco, which is now being in, used in accordance with OpenStack and is a device our project aims to work with. The goal for our project, we plan to enable out-of-band configurations for such routers on OpenStack. But what is an out-of-band configuration? An out-of-band configuration is a networking protocol that are not yet compatible for OpenStack Neutron and we plan to integrate them with the Cisco ASR router where they are suitable and apply them onto OpenStack. Now I'd like to discuss our overall plan, sprint by sprint, going through sprints one through five. First we'll look at sprint one, where we set up the workflows and tools. Uh, so our first accomplishments in sprint one was time management using Trello, set up the MOC, VMs, router interface, DevStack, set up VMs, installed DevStack, tried out Horizon, security groups on there, created routers, and other such workflows. Sprint 2 is more of an introduction to Neutron. More specifically, we also set up PyCharm and started doing some remote debugging on there. And Cisco had us work through and freshen up on some networking protocols such as VLAN, HTTP, TCP dump, REST, and Linux namespaces, Open vSwitch, and NAT. Additionally, we talked on setting up the Cisco lab at BU. This process was a little tedious and it came with quite some latency, but in the end, by the end of the sprint, we had gotten this finally set up and we're gonna be ready to step into sprint four. So we were able to set up the six servers, including a Cisco 3750 switch and a Cisco N5K switch and two compute nodes, a jump box server and two controllers. And we had set up DevStack on the controller A, which is the controller we'd be using for the, the rest of the duration of this project. Additionally, Sprint 4 would come into play and we'd start working on the design for feature enhancement. Our accomplishments for this sprint was we figured out the template that we were going to need for this out-of-band configuration file, determined proper position in the code to inject this out-of-band configuration file. We also were able to set up an SSH tunnel 
through which we could go through a jump server and start debugging the controller A which we were working on. And we also were able to successfully convert the out-of-band config file into netconf snippets and a networking Cisco agent based on their interface levels described in the file. Finally, we came into Sprint 5 where we continued to work on feature enhancements. Now I'd like to talk on how all this works. So look closely at this diagram, how all these blocks are intermingled, and we can talk on them in the next slide. The workflow of the solution. The user is going to create a router and add an interface to that router. The steps are as follows. A REST API is used in the Neutron server, which contacts the plugin DB layer, which then fields the API and updates the database tables. Next, Neutron sends an RPC message to agent. The Cisco has their own config agent, which is different from the community implementation. The Cisco agent then gets the RPC notification. Agent attains router dictionary from plugin. The agent uses proper service helper and constructs the proper ASR 1K iOS configuration. Out of band configuration file is read in and added in the necessary parts of the iOS configuration. And netconf is the communication layer that pushes the config from the agent driver to the ASR 1K. Now let's get into a quick demonstration of our project. First we're going to SSH into the controller A using our SSH tunnel. Then we're going to navigate to the DevSec directory and log ourselves in as an admin user. The next command is turning on Neutron. The goal here is we're going to set up a router, a network, a subnet, and add that interface to the router. By the end of the video, we'll have shown you that we can add specific NetFlow configurations to this sub-interface that we're going to be creating. So as you can see, I started by creating a router called Team Router, and then I started by creating a network called Team Network. The next command I'm going to enter is where we are creating a subnet on the Team Net Network, and we've made a network 24 wide and gave it a random IP that will be distinct on the ASR 1K. I've named the subnet team dash subnet. Next I'm going to add the interface to the router and we're going to add the team router and the team subnet. As you can see the interface is added so now I will go over and log into the ASR 1K and do a standard show run command on the router which will show all basic configurations that exist. Now scrolling down we should see under the 10.0.25 IP address that we have NetFlow configured. And as I've highlighted, it's there. Now I'd like to talk on the accomplishments of our project. First off, we got to know Neutron, its plugins and extensions. Next, we familiarized ourselves with the ASR1K and got it set up at BU. Additionally, we figured out a template for the out-of-band configuration file, which we were going to inject into the CISO config agent. And lastly, we successfully converted the out-of-band configuration file into iOS configuration snippets in the networking Cisco agent, and based on the interface levels described in the file, we're able to push to the ASR1K. Next, challenges. Completely new to OpenStack and ASR1K router, we found ourselves having to spend time familiarizing ourselves with these things. Additionally, there was non-deterministic process of installing DevStack, which meant plus 100 hours of toiling around trying to figure out what was going on there. Additionally, the remote debugging of PyCharm treaded some problems for us. The ASR1K was set up two weeks later than we had initially planned, making us segue to different areas of work where we tried to set up a ASR1K emulator, which proved to be a little more difficult than expected. Uh, lastly, converting the out-of-band config file into iOS configuration snippets uh, took longer than expected. Lastly, what we learned. We learned the basic concepts of OpenStack, especially in regards to Neutron, the workflow of creating network resources in Neutron and 
analyzing them of, with their attributes. Plenty of technical gains, like how to deploy a remote debugging session for Python. Should have been a little bit more agile, too compartmentalized. Group management. We use Trello and burn down charts to make a plan, but we should have groups of two to debug new problems. Hardware was pretty difficult to debug. Our next steps for the project. This project will be continued to be worked on by interns at Cisco this coming summer. The future goals of the project are as follows. We plan to enable global configuration automatically, enable additional out-of-band configs, and lastly, some firewall possibilities. Lastly, we'd like to thank our mentors at Cisco, Sridhar, Shweta, Tim, and Bob Leon, for being valuable assets in our learning experience. And we'd also like to thank Professor Oren, Atta, Michael, and Peter for giving us the opportunity to grow and learn from such a cutting-edge computer engineering course. Thank you.